Okay, so my library is over here. I, I have them all split up into groups. So if I wanted to paint splatter, I've already made it. If I want this one, I right click, click on place copy. If you hit place linked, it's not going to work right when you try to, to add it to design space. So right click, place copy, left click. There you go. I have it. It's already vectorized. I can change it to whatever size, right? Okay. And let's go down here. Um, let's say I also have my watermarks. Click on here. And the same thing. Place. See? I'll leave that one out. So I have so many different ones that I have. These ones aren't added in yet. I need to obviously add them to somewhere. So I have my Disney ones right here. Just random Disney things that I use a lot, like the, the fireworks, you know, or just things that I've used over and over. Paste copy. Oh. See, it just makes it so much easier. Okay, so if I wanted to add one to here, Let's say that I, I made this all as one, and I wanted to add it. So you want to vectorize it first, right? And you just click on it, right click, add to library. So when it adds to the library, it's going to be in the not grouped area. It just, it always adds it there. So again, with the right click, add to group. And then you just pick whatever group you want it to be. We're just going to say, if it was Star Wars, I'd add in it to Star Wars, right? And then you just go up here and find the one that says Star Wars. Nope, that's not Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, this one's Star Wars. It opened it up and put it in there. So right click, place copy, and then there you go, a complete exact copy. So I don't, it's obviously not Star Wars. I'm just going to right click and delete it out of there. You can also name them if you want. Some of them are named. Some of them I have not named. So to name it again, right click, rename, just type in whatever you want to name it as and enter. And there you go. And the same thing. So this is why I got a lot of them done super fast, especially with these things that I'm going to reuse, like, see, okay, so that's about it, to invite someone to your library, to invite someone to your library, you click this right here, that's the share library, and it pops up, and then you just type the address and right there, as you can see, you and about two other people invited. You guys have not accepted it yet. So, and then two in here, it's easier to search through it. This one's mine, obviously. And then these ones are shared throughout anybody. Like, if you wanted to add these to your groups or, you know, whatever, there's a whole bunch in there. So, like, if I wanted to do the taco one, export a copy, copy to, you know, if I wanted to add it to my library, I did a left click and so I should have a food one in here if I made one. Um, we're just going to put it into um, not grouped because I don't have a food one. And I'm going to left click, same thing right here, copy to oh, my library. Oh. I'm moving it too fast here to my library and not grouped. So exit out of there. So, and there you go. Place copy. And now I have this taco one. And here's the pizza one. It took a minute for it to pop up. And there you go. If I wanted to make a new group right here, I have a new group. New group. I'm going to write food, enter. Okay, and you can also like drag them into there like so. No, oh, never mind, it didn't work. So 
it dragged it in and made it a second time. So that does not work. I'm going to delete that out. Okay, so click on it with left click, right click, add to group, and food is right here. So there you go. That'll be put into there. And right click, add to group, food. Eh, eh, there we go. So now I have it, you know, I can if I ever wanted to use those again, right? So, there we go. And then the PS is showing where I got it from or where it was created in. And obviously these ones are not vectorized. So, well, nope, they are, look at that, see? Ooh, so, well, this part is, nope, no, it's not. No, it is not. So, with everything in there, I'd want it to be vectorized. So, oh, there we go. So, before I keep it in there, add it in there, I want to vectorize it. That way, when I'm working on things, I can just easily move it over, right? So, there we go. Add to library going to be down here at the bottom and add a group food and there you go Let's copy so it picked up both of them obviously I'll have to mess around that I've never pulled anything out of that shared group because this um, group sharing is something pretty new so I'm gonna have to play around with that part really quick but you got the gist of it that pretty neat, huh? And this is how I'm able to get through stuff, make stuff pretty fast. Like my my trucks that I was making. <laughs> I've got all my little blanks here. Um, here you go, women. I see that's one of the ones I drawn. But here we go. Or shapes is a good one to keep it of because over here, you know, how you only have these ones. Um, I have, you know, the hearts in here, the outlines and stuff. And okay, so and that way I don't have to, you know, mess around making hearts each and every time that I need it. So that's it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, yep. And you can make as many as you want and everything. So, yeah, obviously. So whatever size you <laughs> send it to the group in, that's what size it's going to be. See all the different sizings here? I should probably, you know, <laughs> make them all the same size and all. But obviously I did not. I was really zoomed in right there. But that's how you do it.